Recording. We're recording. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. We're recording. This is episode number five. Mm, penises. Not even close. <laughs> Not even a little. It's divisible by five, maybe. Everything's divisible by five. That's true. That's my number one math. Everything's tip divisible. For... Everything's divisible. Sometimes by get... everything, you just get you don't get a round number. You know, sometimes a more a flat. Ra- I, I, sometimes round is a little gauche. Buddy, with numbers. Buddy, tell my body. Yeah, I think a nice straight line down the middle. Yeah, is a little more. Uh, you like a fat. You like a fastball of a number. A fastball of a number. Two. Two. Six. There it is. Boom. Five. Ten. Yeah. Fifteen. Four little too big. Four little too big. The Sean special. I like six little. Yeah, six little. Six and little really is funny. Best. Yeah, six little is funny. Six big is hilarious. I don't, I don't think you can do six big. <laughs> Why not? I think the most you can do is three big. Oh, okay. Well, that's just your attached hair. to my head. That's a t- I forget how long your hair is my now. Because you're always wearing a beanie now. Yeah, it looks like wearing a beanie. I didn't say it in a mean way. No, but it feels like I have to explain it some, for some reason. To, no, no, no. I, don't know. I, keep do, I keep doing that, too. When someone when says someone something, I'm like, I like have to like give a story to like. Oh, you don't I have just, to. I just was saying something. I, I go, defend, don't say anything about me. I defend every choice. <laughs> My stance I've ever is made. don't say anything about me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't. I don't want you to, so don't do it. What about a compliment to you? I still don't like those that much. You don't like those that much. That's the thing. Okay. I don't want anything negative, mm-hmm. but I don't love positive either. Hmm. What's hmm. It's an interesting line. I, to I have think, to... yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't have, have to, to walk. But you're not, not like. But talk. I just am not. I'm not the best at accepting compliments. Mostly. Um... I'm phenomenal at it. No, I'm just kidding. It's yeah, so funny thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's not false. But I think if it, the compliment is physical. About your. About my, my body, body mm-hmm. or anything, I go like, be a liar. Ah. Uh. And then if it's about something I do, mm-hmm. I'm like, I know I'm not the best at that. Okay, but what if the compliment isn't that you're the best, so they just like you, what you do? But there's, someone's the, like, but hey, there's someone better at it than me, so the, go look at that. That's how the world works. <laughs> yes, it is. There's always someone better than you. But not Unless you're art. Michael Jordan. Art is not... No, there's people that are better okay. at art than others. So you think a, a little kid's drawing is the same as a Picasso? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> nah, that's, that's interesting. That's kind of funny. I don't know. No, that's one of those things where it's is... like, if you could defend it correctly, it's a very high-minded opinion. Yeah. But you're just saying it because it's kind of funny. Well, it's the thing where, to me, with, let's say, a very specific art, like painting or drawing. Yeah. Where it's... Un- unlike the more general art. The more general art of stand-up <laughs> comedy. <laughs> where it's just, I, th- I think... Uh, Visual art in that sense is much easier to criticize and be like and be like that is good that is bad. Um, yeah. For I'm not saying it, it is they're correct when they do it. I'm just saying people are they find a very easy time to do it. So yeah. you can go and say I like what this person is doing. What they're doing speaks to me. Yeah. They might not be the most technically proficient artist. But I don't care. But it speaks to something. This speaks to me. Yeah, I mean, listen, look at all of the music I listen to. Yeah. The most technically proficient musicians are usually the worst. They're boring. They're boring. Because they lean on that. Yeah. I want... My favorite musician probably is Jeffrey Lewis. Yeah. And he's an awful singer. Yeah. And his... I don't know how well he plays the guitar, but... I've heard some songs. He's fine. He's fine at it. He's a cartoonist. He's a cartoonist yeah. who also plays music. Yeah. But his songs... Speak to me. Yeah. They 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 resonate with things that I agree with, and uh, I just find them very genuine and very honest. And that to me is what's very interesting. He I I I got to he did my podcast years ago randomly. I went to his apartment. This podcast. Not this podcast. I used to have a different podcast. No, you didn't. It, <laughs> it wasn't as good. This is the only. Thank you. Um, this is the only podcast you've ever had. Well, I went to his apartment and like I just shot him an email. And went to his apartment. And we did a podcast, and then he played, as we would play my favorite song, and he played my favorite song in front of me. And I'm like, insane. this is an insane thing that can happen in New York, yeah. where it's like, I'm Why lucky this is my guy. Why don't we do that now? I don't know. Not to him specifically, no, no, no. but just in general. We could. Yeah. We could. I we guess we're in the middle of a it. pandemic. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Um, so which isn't great. But yeah, it's weird how many times we're that little shitty podcast was able to get some like pretty big names i think it was because he was at the beginning of podcast yes good point not everyone had a podcast in not 2012 podcast. or whatever the fuck it was yeah um 
But that's the thing. I think to me, what I like about ours, whether or not it speaks to me, not if it's good technically. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody told me that my, they said your work means a lot to me, and I was like, I don't know how to take that. No, oh, just. Like I it. said thank you. I yeah, yeah. I always yeah, yeah yeah like I I have a very blanket. I say uh, whenever someone compliments me, I say thank you. I appreciate that. Digitally. Digitally. Not in person. Do you say the same thing? Um, it depends. Usually sure, I'm like, I think I get more flustered in person. Yeah. But in like when someone goes like, Hey, Bobo, I go, thank you. I really appreciate that. Cause I do appreciate it. You do appreciate it. But it's hard for me to accept it. Do you think that if you were too, uh, bubbly with your answer, you, it seems kind of like you're patting yourself on the back. Do yeah. You when, see like way? when people go like, Hey, you had a good set. And then people will go like, I know. Well, that's just shrewd. That's not. Yeah. yeah but still, no, like, but I know when I have a good set or I know when something I write or I don't know. I don't think anything I write is good, but, you know. I think there's times where things I write are done, mm -hmm. but I don't know if they're good. Because it doesn't matter to me. If but it's not what the... Exactly. The, but it doesn't matter. It's but like, that's the genuine... That's the actual uh, objective, in my opinion, what it should be. is like, to write something that's good, to for to be good, is kind of like... Weird yeah, you're me. like, I'm really writing this I'm thing. writing the fuck out yeah, of this. Punctuation is where so it should be. Lame. It's weird to me. But when you write something honest and true and it's on, and it's genuine to you, that to me is way more important. And that's that's what I would quantify as good. Yeah. Yeah, because like a bunch of people reached out after that last oh. newsletter yeah, I sent man. out. Because, I don't know, it resonated. It with resonated, especially at this time. Yeah. So it's like, you know, that was nice. And I thought it was cool. And I, and I was... I... Um, struggle with obviously struggle with being vulnerable yeah so it was a um i think it's been a very thing. positive outlet for you i think it's been yeah it's been nice because i i try to like let's say if i like what someone someone does i'll go out of my way to let them know that i really enjoy it because someone can make something and your assumptions on the outside is like oh they must know it's good everyone tells them it's good they don't need me to tell them it's good yeah but it's like if everyone thinks that, they never get told it's good. It's like, it's nice to just be, like, reassured, like, hey, I dig what you're doing. Yeah, it's also a funny thing where it's like, if nobody says anything about something I write, I'm like, oh, this sucked. Exactly. So it's like, you know, I've really put myself in a, in exactly. a no-win situation. In a no-win situation, the Mike and Brucey story. Yeah, truly. <laughs> it's one but, of the many awful uh, things I've done. But you're also, myself. I think, putting it out in a pacing or in a, in a, a between each other with enough space where it's like they're special each time where like mm. I noticed with Nihilift, the more I put them out, the less people cared. Yeah. Because it's, it's just like flooding the... Exactly. Like, yeah, there's people who like send out like long, like people whose newsletters I get send out long newsletters each week where I'm like, I'm not reading this whole fucking thing. That's too thing. much. And it's like very, and it's like, it's one of those things I'm like, is this well written kind of are you just maybe like really on the spectrum possibly mm -hmm. but it's like a thing where it's like jesus fucking christ but that's the thing about newsletters is like there's no editors right so there's no one to be like hey fucking cut cut this, this 500 need to be words here. from this right this doesn't need to be here this yeah. is actually you're, you're repeating yourself yeah that, i mean exactly but there's usage like i said to, there's i didn't say this there's usage to having a a a middleman in terms of an editing, but also it's like kind of cool to be like, this is just it. Yeah, this that's is, the you thing. didn't pay for it. That's the thing. You're not losing it. It's free. It's so free. fucking whatever. If yeah. it sucks, who cares? But if it doesn't suck, that's great. Awesome. Real, you get a real bang for your buck if it doesn't suck. Yeah, that's true. Because you, you know, you just get a free good thing. I guess that's what a lot of websites to give you too. But you don't have any ads. I don't have any ads. Ooh, can I put an ad out on your next newsletter? Absolutely. All right. Cool. Absolutely. Can that for this podcast. That's great. Whatever you want, the, 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 as long as you pay me, mm -hmm. and it's not going to be cheap. <laughs> it's not going to be cheap at all, brother. Okay. Um, I'll give you one cent per subscriber. That's not trying to change. It's like... Um... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, you can go ahead and check for six dollars. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck? This is six thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of books uh, yeah. and writing. Uh, but by the way, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Springtime Mike. That's Springtime Mike. I'm Springtime Mike Brucey. My best friend. Yeah. I'm Diego Lopez. I'm his best friend. Yeah, I'm Springtime Mike this week. Springtime Mike. It's spring 60, is, it's 60 is kind degrees. of here. Not even really. It's not even here. It's this warm full today. Spring. Yeah. yeah, it's warm today, and I'm really fucking. It's warm today. It's gonna be warm tomorrow. Because of it. Oh, it's gonna be warm tomorrow. Yeah, too. it's gonna be really warm awesome. tomorrow. I, I went on the roof earlier. I did work out my room, mm -hmm. which I should have just done on the roof. 
I just forgot to bring my kettlebell. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I can bring them up there. Yeah. Uh, I think you can't. My room is so dark at this yeah. time of the day. It was, like, really annoying because I'm like, I want to go outside. But I just use that as motivation to finish it. Oh, um, yeah. I went on the roof, popped my shirt off, and there's a guy on the other side, like, a guy on the Wait, over there popped working out. And I'm like, buddy! Hey. But he doesn't know you're a workout guy. He, oh, he can fucking tell. I have my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. From far away. I'm wearing gym get, shorts. Yeah. I'm shaking a blender bottle. Buddy. I wear gym shorts too. And if I was like, hey, me and you, if some guy's working, I was like, hey, me and you were the same. <laughs> hey, just so you know, me and you were the same. It's like the Tom Segura bit where, like, hey, uh, you getting after? And he goes, what? And he goes, you get it in? And he goes, yeah, man. He's like, yeah, I, just be, I used to be just like you, man. Just, you know, die, work out every day. And then Tom's like, I'm disabled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the ultimate bit. Um, so like I said, introducing some of the topics today. Oh yeah. Wait, I had to, I was thinking Please, about go, something go, before this. Go. So I saw a, uh, a, a debate, about, not a debate, but being like, are you this kind of person or are you this kind of person? Mm-hmm. And it was about, so after you, okay. After you shower, you're in the shower. Okay. Do you physically wipe yourself? Wipe yourself. Yeah. So I never even thought of that. I squeegee myself. I never even thought of that until I saw the discussion. Oh, really? Never even it never even occurred to me. I was like, I'm wet. I use the towel because mm-hmm. that's what it's there for. Sure, that's a great point. But I started squeegeeing myself. It's a different world. It's a different world. I feel great. I I, I don't feel it doesn't I don't it doesn't no, make me feel different. <laughs> but it makes the drying process much quicker. Much quicker. And you don't have such a wet towel, which means you don't have to wash your towels as often. They don't get yeah. moldy. Mm. They don't get as mold. They don't get moldy. Yeah, I just. I'm just, I guess I've just been... You've never been a moldy towel guy, though, so, like, it's not a concern. Mm, I think I have a little okay. bit. But, but, but I think I have, I have a, 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 a stack of new towels, mm-hmm. and I've been trying to keep um, on top of that. Okay. To be like, yeah, I'm fucking really rotating my towels well. Yeah, that's I'm, good. I'm doing it. So... Because I, I had black towels for so that's long. That's such a guy move. It's it was crazy. I also had them for so much... Because how long are you supposed to have a towel for? I mean, two it, years. I would say years? about yeah, two years. Because I feel fair like if you're changing them out cause, enough, because I feel them. like the towels that we had in my family, we had for forever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I think they also got washed really often because mm-hmm. we had a washing machine at the house. Yeah, that'll do it. And we had a lot of towels. Yeah, it's a family. But in my head, I'm like, you just keep towels until, like, I don't know, you get a big hole in them or something. Like, I don't know, <laughs> until you put them down and get bleach on them somehow. That's been a fun thing about getting a little bit more, like, uh, adulty is like, A, I went, that, that moment when I threw out all of, like, the underwear I don't like. Oh, yeah. And, like, I'm just going with only, Calvin Klein trunk boxer briefs. It's only, anything I wear. Only low uni- rise. Only Uniqlo little trunk. Yeah, I got the same one. Here's my only problem with the Uniqlo ones. I got a dick hole. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if the Calvin Klein ones do. I don't like the dick hole. I don't really I use, use the dick hole. Can I have the dick hole from your underwear on mine? No dick hole. No dick hole? Yeah. Kind of risky me doing this on the podcast. Yeah, you could have just pulled it. You have the, 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 the glass up in front of you. <laughs> I'm just fully looking at your <laughs> But yeah, no dick hole. I don't, I don't use the dick hole. I, I would use the dick hole if I had it. Yeah. Maybe you should go to a tailor and have him cut. I'm gonna, dick hey, hole. can I? Can you cut a. I don't know the proper. Term can you here. cut a dick hole into these. Four dollar, fucking whatever, seven dollar underwear. And then also the point of getting new towel, getting like nice new towels. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know if my towels are nice, but they are new. They're new. That's good enough. So the squeegeeing thing is something that I threw. I assumed everyone did because taught how to do it as a little boy. Yeah, in my family, my parents. And then I remember the first time I, I, I had a woman take a shower with me, and I'm like, we're done, and she just got out. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, you got it. the floors all like when you and Will get out of the shower, especially it's not, Will. It's, yeah, I was gonna say it's not me. It's it like a horse walked out of a. a well, okay, but it's because I didn't squeegee, <laughs> and I never understood it. And it's like I squeegee myself, and then I bring the towel in. So that's the thing. I never brought the towel in, and I never squeegeed. Yeah, I'm completely like my. You, I don't wait. I don't put a drop of water when I get out of the shower on the floor. I bet you do. I, I, I bet you do. I bet you put at least one drop of water. Fair? I would, Maybe but one. But I would say much less than your other roommates. Yes. And much less than one of them. So I squeegee, I wipe, uh, I dry I my like face. I feel Will opens the door while the well, shower's still <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, but also sometimes what I do is I like, I like to run the shower a little bit. Uh-huh. So it gets warm before I get in there. Yeah. But I keep the door open and our shower sprays sideways. Yeah. 
So it just, I'm just like, oh, it's on the floor now. It's fuck. on the floor. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. fucking hell. But then I don't want to close the door. To open I do the same the thing. Door. I close the door. Yeah, I know. It's a whole thing. <laughs> so now what I've just been doing is letting it run as the tub. Let us know. Do you squeegee your body? Yeah, do you squeegee your body? Let us know. I just, I'm a, I'm a new, new born again. No, I'm not born again. I'm a new squeegeer. Mm-hmm. Body squeegeer. And it's fucking really. It's great. Here's the thing, though. Really get to know the crevices. Oh, yeah. You get to know point. every single part of your body. But here's the thing. I already know it's there. You know it's there. That's the thing. It's not new. I'm like, oh, damn, I have a, now I know I have a big ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Wiping my body down in the shower is what told me I had a big ass and not every photo of me from behind. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I look like a fucking woman from Duluth. <laughs> um, fucking hell. Yeah, big fan of squeegeeing. I've been doing yeah, man, it's great. Just anyway, we got topics now. So topics, so, so we were talking about news and his uh, thing, his newsletter. Um, so Republicans are fucking losing their mind over uh, Dr. Seuss books being quote-unquote canceled, which first of all, they're not canceled. Cancel the publishers independently chose to stop printing them. No one made a deal, a big deal about it. They chose to do it. But they didn't have to announce it. They didn't have to, but they wanted to first because they knew this was going to get traction. Yeah, it's fucking lame. Sure. Okay. But as long as we both agree that it's lame. Sure. Absolutely. Because you can and this it. will link to something we're going to talk about in a second. Okay, great. I have no truly. I have no idea what the topics are this week. Mm-hmm. And I probably don't know anything about them. But we're going to talk about it. This is great. We have strong opinions about it. Of course. Thank you. So my point point being, blaming the the, the Republicans, blaming quote-unquote cancel culture, it's like, they didn't do anything. This is totally an independent business trying to do do better. Yeah, but I think it's a thing where they're like, oh, cancel culture is like, oh, you can't say, you couldn't, people, you know, know, like how people try to cancel dead people and shit like that. That's silly. They're dead. Um, so look, here's the six books that they're going to stop printing, or I believe maybe even editing. Um, tell me if you ever read it. One star, two star, uh, Confederate flag. <laughs> One star, two star, two star yellow star, printed yeah. on a fucking shirt, whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. Um, okay, so our first one is, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. Never heard of it, never read it. Number two, if I ran the zoo. Oh, that's the uh, movie with Matt Damon. Miguel... Miguel, Mick Elligort's pool? Is that Miguel? Why do you say that? What would you say that? Mick Elligort's. That's a weird name. It's a, he makes shit up. He's Dr. Seuss. That's good. Uh, on Beyond Zebra, Scrambled Egg Super, The Cat's Quizzler. None of those sound like real books. Uh, yeah, they're Dr. Seuss. They're Dr. Seuss books. It's not like War and Peace. Yeah, it's true. Uh, but it's just funny to be like mad about something that no one's actually giving a shit about. But that's what most of the internet is. The world. Yeah, of course. Right now, um, did you ever read any of those? Did I don't some? know if I ever read. Maybe, maybe if I ran the zoo. I don't know. I was a that looks kind of familiar. Yeah, but it's just a cat it's also hat. Just cat hats in there. I fucking. Not these. Well, look at that. No, oh, I think I might have read that one. I saw it on Mulberry Street. Oh, it's the very first Dr. Seuss children book. Oh. Yeah, know. like in it, there's like Were a Were you a China Dr. Man? Seuss child? Not really, no. That was like huge for my fucking family. Oh, really? Real big Dr. Seuss people. That's cool. Um, yeah. So, you know, pretty funny. But the, the point being that I wanted to bring it to... Yeah. Because you said it so, so eloquently, was about how lame it is. And it's like, that's what Burger King decided to do yesterday on International Women's Day. Burger King UK tweeted, "Women belong in the kitchen," oh, knowing it was going to get a lot, yeah, of, of course, a lot of heat and traction. And they're trying to like, no, we mean like, not enough women are in the industry. Yeah, like, uh huh, yeah, that's. What but you that's meant. the the thing is, I saw this about some um, some right wing like troll account posted something recently. It was that it was that like painting of like a family around a barbecue and one of them like had a, oh yeah was, like, the barbecue gu- with the dog with a gun, with a gun. yeah yeah. 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 And then it's like a video game. And then like people got mad about it because mm-hmm. they posted like bring back the American I mean, family oh family God. values or whatever. But like it's obviously like a troll account. And then they posted like they literally posted a screenshot and says they take the bait every time and they showed how many millions of impressions the tweet got. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Because they're not like, why did you get them? But they no, go, they go like, oh, our tweet. You know, over the last year, our tweets have gotten. 200 million imp- unique impressions. Yeah, 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 So then if you advertise with us on our website... Exactly. Then We're successful. Then we have this. And if we talk about this, then we'll get this. So that's the thing. Burger King wanted 
eyes on their shit. Mm-hmm. This fucking printing company wanted eyes on their shit. Mm-hmm. And that right-wing troll account wanted eyes on their shit. That's all that matters. Impressions matter. Quote tweeting people you don't like helps them. Yeah, that's the thing I don't get, where people keep, like, doing that. It's like, stop sharing their stuff. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter, like, people be like, you know, unless you get, like, on Twitter, you get, like, absolutely ratioed. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, man, this person got, whatever, it has, like, 100,000 likes and, and 2,000, com- like, replies, and it's like, it just looks good for the person. Yeah. It doesn't matter. There's still, it's, and... It's unless gonna... it's something that, like, ruins their career or something, mm-hmm. like... Like that woman that flew to uh, Africa, Africa and tweeted that thing? Yeah. God. I'm, I'm shocked she doesn't have a uh, show on Steven Crowder's It's crazy. She doesn't, yeah. She doesn't have her own... She didn't turn into like a fucking anti-cancel culture mm-hmm. victim martyr. How dare they? Uh, I was making a joke. You can't even make jokes anymore. It's like, you're not a comedian. You're not a comedian. That's not what you do. Yeah. I don't know. Get better... Joke writing? Get better joke writing. That's like me being like, you can't even run a marathon anymore. <laughs> it's not what I do. It's not my thing. I've never done it. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't do it. Definitely not professionally. Definitely not professionally. I think I could run two marathons in one day. I was going to say three. <laughs> yeah. I think three is, I think three maybe. I think I could run two marathons and a half marathon in a day. Oh, yeah. That's, that's yeah, pull it back a little bit. You don't want to be yeah. too eager. What was that? 52, 65 miles in a day. No, oh, dude. That's like going to Manhattan 65.6 miles. Yeah, that's it. It's like walking over to Greenpoint and back twice. Yeah, whatever. I can do it. Dude, it's crazy how well you can do that. Yeah. I, uh, I'm, also, uh, I'm happy to announce that I'm fully vaxxed. I couldn't be less vaxxed. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. I'm trying to figure out which one has the littlest microchip in it. Oh. And then I'll take it. And then I'll take that one? Yeah. Well, I guess the, fi- the, the Johnson Johnson's one microchip instead of two. But how do you know both? No, they all have one. They all have one in them? They all have one in them. That's the secret. Interesting. Yeah, I'll it's because the Johnson Johnson, then. Johnson, then. The way they do it is they, they do it by camping terms, where two is one, one is none. If they just put one microchip in you, you might shit or piss it out. You might shit or piss out the so microchip. So when they put two, they go, all right, we got one in there yeah. at least. So I'm going to get, I think, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two Johnson & Johnson shots. So I have, because it's only, it's only 65% mm-hmm. effective or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But if I get two, it's 130%... If, if you get it's two, effective. your veins will uh, get a rip in them. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm trying to be ripped. I wonder if I go get try and get the, the another one that, that can Why would you in the system. One? It's funny. I don't know if you're... It's like... Here's the weird thing. How much of this is being done on paper cards? Yeah, dude. It's 2021, and they're putting little tiny chips in the vaccine, mm-hmm. but you have to write it down on a little index card i really was hoping they kind of give you like something to like a signifier Va- the, like people a have been talking about a vaccine passport okay that's cool so like a thing to like show that you are vaccinated yeah. but also whatever they make i bet i could make a counterfeit of it sure i'm gonna be fucking never, dude, i'm never gonna get vaxxed man i am gonna I know you. You have to if you want to go to Australia, right? I know. Yeah, yeah. that's where. That's where. You I have to you. if I want to do anything. Really, it's true. Yeah, we're having to get to go. I'm gonna have a bunch of comedians over that have been fully vaccinated. They can't come over. I'm you not vaccinated. To, you're gonna need. They can't home. come over. You can't be home on the dude. Tuesday. Did you see that the CDC was like, <laughs> if you have vaccinated, you can just fucking hang out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's sick. so sick. But here's the thing, as I've proved, if you're not vaccinated, you can also just hang out. That's true. That's true. And I think it's good because you're vaccinated. I am. So that's good enough for me. Yeah. I live with you. Osmosis. Yeah. If you can't... It's Osmosis Jones. It's Osmosis Jones starring Eddie Murphy. <laughs> uh-huh. Is it Eddie Murphy or is it Chris Rock? It's Chris Rock. I always... I feel like I've made this mistake on the podcast before. Yeah. And it's also Bill Murray. Bill Murphy. Bill Murphy. But it's pronounced Bill Murphy. Bill Murphy. Wait, am I right? Or am it's I... pronounced Bill Murphy. Is it Chris Rock? Yeah, it's Chris Rock. I don't know. I think yeah, yeah, it's Chris Rock. Is really. Good. I think I've had. I think we've had this. The movie sucks. I think we've talked about this on the podcast. Hypothalamus gland. Before, and I was dumb then. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah. How do you feel? You got sick, right? Yeah. So. Oh yeah. So first shot, nothing. Just my arm was sore. Second shot. I'm jacking off to it. Uh huh. Well, well, second shot, I was completely fine all day. Mm-hmm. Felt fine, and then I went to bed. And we'll lay down in bed and I uh, jacked off my penis to completion. In bed? Uh, yeah. Interesting. I don't do it in bed. I didn't ask. <laughs> and, uh, I do it in the, in the living room. In the living room? <laughs> you did it in and my I room? I just wait. <laughs> I'm just waiting until you see 
see my bust face. <laughs> when people, when, when there's like a statue of just someone's head and they're like, oh, it's a bust, it's because it's a statue of them coming. Them coming, that's how. That's, that's what's called a bust. That's why those things take so long to carve. Because they the jack off a couple times. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't get it. Can you do it again? <laughs> yeah, give me a couple minutes. Um, why are you carving my penis so small? It's just my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to make sure you have a very small penis and everyone knows. Sorry, everyone needs to know for the history, Sorry. remainder of history that you have a small penis. Yeah. So I, I uh, the second after I uh, jacked off my penis to a completion, I got yeah. a fever. Like, immediately a fever. Uh, Cause I you were, that's because when you jack off, it gets all of the, like, demons and toxins out of your body. That's usually what I do when I'm sick. You jack off. I crank off and make myself. But here's the thing about my, you. Yeah. You you are usually sick for a while. Mm. When you get sick, you're sick for a long time. Yeah. So I don't think it works. No, but I still do it. Yeah. Um, okay. But it doesn't work. So what I was saying was right. Oh, I come. <laughs> no, but it makes it doesn't make you not sick. And in mm-hmm. fact, it seems to make you sicker. Well, you know, I'm gonna keep doing it and figure out. If, 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 I think what happens <laughs> is you're jerking off at night. I, okay. You jerk off in the morning. Nah, that's ruined your whole day. No, it doesn't, bro. It sets your whole day up for success. Because <laughs> your head is clear. What are you so, about? Uh, no, I got sick. Who got... cares about the fucking vaccine? You don't, you don't, you're not horny. You're not as horny if you jack off in the morning. That's true. And you don't have to worry about it. You think, oh, all day you're like, man, I gotta fucking need some pussy. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. You're, like, you're, in the, you're in the pussy minds. You're in the pussy minds. The <laughs> minds are there, boom, 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 boom. The pu- That's what I call my brain, the pussy minds. The pussy minds. <laughs> <laughs> the pussy minds. Yes. Yeah, but anyway, you jacked off and you felt bad or whatever. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Got sick, and then I have had terrible, terrible sleep. Where you know, like your your body temperature keeps changing, and you're like, you're cold. Now you're really hot. Put a sweater on. You're freezing. Oh no, you're sweating through the sweater. Um, it was basically that kind of sleep. Okay. And then the next day, luckily, I didn't have any clients. I just watched all of uh, Search Party. Yeah. And felt not good. I didn't watch it because I wasn't sick. Mm-hmm. That's a show you watch when you're. That's sick. a show you watch when you're sick. Um, mentally or physically mentally or physically I felt oh, I felt bad but not miserable that day and then the next day I was fine yeah so uh, when I found out from a, a student whose girlfriend's a nurse that if you get sick the second time that means you didn't have COVID if you get sick after the first shot that means you probably had COVID and your body's reacting now to oh it. interesting yeah so, so it's like antibodies reacting exactly now that you've had it in your body and you get the second shot, your body's like, oh, we know what this is. And it fucking kicks into high gear. Okay. Which makes you sick. Interesting. Which is, so it's a good so sign. you never had COVID. Never had COVID. I swear you would have had it. Yeah, yeah. You think I would? Yeah, me too. I think I would have gotten it. You might have. Yeah. I don't know. You were kind of sick that last February. Yeah. But I think that was pre-COVID, wasn't it? I mean, it was pre-lockdown. Uh, yeah. Because it was before I went to Australia. Oh, Okay. Never mind, then in my head I had it backwards. No. Maybe it was after. No, it wasn't. Because mm-hmm. if it was after, it would have been... I got home and then five days later the whole city was locked down. Right. Which is so funny. Crazy. What a crazy year. Yeah, it's March again. Oh. Yeah, it's been... People more... are saying, like, can you believe it's... Yeah, it's been a year. That's what happened. An awful I year. Know. That's what the fucking... Didn't come around. Yeah. Also, the thing with birthdays people keep doing, I'm like, it's been a year. Everyone's birthday's now in it. Yeah. Oh, I had a I pandemic birthday. Birthday. I birthday. Well, everyone has to have one. Everyone. Every single person, person. has had one. Shut the fuck Even up. Even dogs man. have had it. Even your fucking dumbass dog had a pandemic. Suck, bro. Stupid bitch. Who gives a shit? Um, My birthday. Oh, no. I'm 16. Yeah. Yeah, Gums. literally, like, got back. It's been, cause it's been, like, one year now since I've been back. Mm-hmm. Since you've been back, right. so. I cannot get hard for a third time. I can't. That's too many times. Yeah, yeah, I've gotten hard twice in the past year. Getting hard. Which is cool. Not for you. That's actually kind of a record for me for a calendar year. I agree. Twice in a year. Woo! What are you? Am I the Queen of France? The fucking br- Queen of uh, England's uh, pussy. What am I the Queen of England's pussy? <laughs> <laughs> that's what you said, and I said it louder. That's what I said, yeah, and you said it louder, which works both times. Yeah. Um, I guess we can talk, speaking of the Queen of England's pussy. Yeah, we can talk about that. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell so, yeah. That's it. Good night. Who gives a shit? Here's what I bing, think bing, about bing, the British bing, family. Bing, bing. Who fucking cares? Firing squad. They're not my royal family. Bah, bah, bah. 
They could, they, they could fucking suck my dick, all of them. I don't give a shit about Who Prince Harry. Who cares? I don't. Oh, a rich woman was sad. I don't <laughs> fucking care. She was rich before this shit. She's yeah. rich now. It's Yeah, it's bad that the the royal family is racist. But who didn't think that? Yeah, who was I don't know, maybe racist? ask the entire country of India. Yeah, big surprise, buddy. Oh my god, the sun never sets in... on my big hard cock. Mm-hmm. I'm fucking dumb. Who gives a shit? If you like the royal family, in you any capacity, also might like sucking my big hard. <laughs> you might also like Jesus Christ. putting your Who penis or tits inside of a closing <laughs> door. What the fuck you is wrong like, with you? You might like having an elevator close on your handles. <laughs> you like dude, you might like me hitting you dude, as hard I as I can. I can't believe. I can't believe. So here's stupid. what's the crazy thing. It's embarrassing. That people in England are like, "Yeah, we love the Queen. Why? Yeah, why? Because you've been told to." By them? By who? Yeah. You gotta. You I gotta, didn't vote for them. It's you gotta, okay. Uh, by the way, if you're from England, this, this, uh, by the way, this is the Queen saying it. Mm-hmm. She's like, by the way, if you're from England, you gotta love me. You gotta love me. Because um, I'm an old tits. bitch. I'm an old. Wrinkly How tits. old is that woman now? I think, here's the weird thing. She's British. Yeah. She's 32. Yeah, she looks she good looks, for 32. She <laughs> was British a, 32. She's a British 32. Those motherfuckers. But, nah, I don't know, though. But oh, there's shit. a but there's always an exception to the rule. Yeah. Elizabeth Hurley. Elizabeth Hurley. The Our queen. The woman Ugh. to ever exist. Ten. Unbelievable. A 40, ten. She's a 42 on a scale of oh, 1 to 10. Oh, buddy. God, the hottest woman that's ever existed. Right. Dude, the, that Kiss picture her. I showed you of her and, and Hugh Grant, mm-hmm. from I guess it's from like the 90s. Walking together, God, it's like this is two of the hottest. I, don't know, man. I get it. I get why. Like, I don't know if Hugh Grant's whole like, oh, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. I, he's always bit, dropping bit something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like fucking goofy. But I'm like, oh, like seeing that picture of him, I'm like, nah, he's a fucking. That's a, a lie. Yeah, His yeah, personality yeah, front. He is a lie, and he's a he's a legendary sexman. A full coxman. Just really fucking. A pipe pipe he's, fitters. He's a fucking Navy SEAL and getting pussy, <laughs> and paying for it. Oh, good sick. for him. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, he got caught with a with a trans prostitute. Good. Remember? Supporting trans. Remember that? No, I don't. Yeah. I thought that was Eddie Murphy. More, more than one person can do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my lesson for today's <laughs> podcast. More than one person wow. can do the same thing. God bless him. Hey, more power to you. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Shout out Hugh Grant. And fuck the royal family. And fuck, dude, fuck the royal All family. All of you bitches Who gives can a get shit? it. What's Prince Charles doing? He's still alive, right? He's the Queen's husband? No. He's Queen's Diana's son. husband. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's just being like old as shit. Just fucking chilling. Just being no old. job. Just Motherfuckers have no his, job. Got his, dude. This is okay, so this is this is racism. Oh yeah. OJ Simpson had to go to jail mm-hmm. for, you know, stealing memorabilia, quote unquote. Wink wink. For his ex wife's murder. Mm-hmm. Prince Charles gets to roam free. Roam free. And obviously his family killed his ex-wife. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, the 14 cameras in the tunnel didn't catch any of the footage? Yeah. Interesting. You know who can make cameras shut off really easily? Mm, the the Queen of England. <laughs> I'm sure some fucking dumbass that works in the cameras in the tunnel got knighted that day. Yeah, he got to become one of the beef eaters. There you go, bitch. You said yeah, here. Uh, big ass. <laughs> Put all those tapes in your big hat. Dumb fuck. Don't fucking tell anybody about it. You didn't see nothing. You didn't see shit, bro. You didn't see nothing, and Prince Philip will give you one of his 14-year-old girlfriends. And there you go. Isn't that fun? God. He's a pedophile. <laughs> He's He's, dude, a what a inbred racist pedophile. God, talk about three strikes. Dude, nine, and they're British. <laughs> nine strikes right there. God, what a bunch of fucking... Eddie Izzard has this joke about how they're all inbred and how there's like no personality left to any of them. Where he's like, they're, they don't know anything. He goes, you meet one of them and they shake your hand and go, oh, hello, you're a plumber? What on earth is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. He's like, rule number one in genetics. Spread the gene pool. Yeah. And they're just fucking scraping the bottle of the barrel. Just Brutal. keeping inbreeding and being like, oh, you're a royal member. Then you're a royal member. We could keep fucking each other. Dude, yeah. Dumb fucks. That's man. the I'll thing. Like, that's the up. only good part about being in the royal family. I'll light him up. What's that? You get to fuck your family member. You get to members. fuck your family member. You get to really just do incest and no one cares. Your eyes just keep getting, your children's eyes keep getting closer and closer. And further at the same time. They're like <laughs> in and out. They are like blinky from the Simpsons. <laughs> Yeah, dude, fuck. They all have goofy. You know when Homer's it's eyes get all goofy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what everyone in the royal family has. 
and yeah, goofy like, Homer eyes. I see the, like American girls being obsessed with it because it's like it's like such a fucking uh, fairy tale, and it's just like yo, like an America got to be a princess, blah blah. blah. Like a thing where it's like She's... I kind of understand being obsessed with Princess Diana because mm-hmm. she was like a regular person mm-hmm. who did this and then rebelled and was also like an unbelievable humanitarian. Yeah, and a fucking dime and a dime piece. Here's the thing though. If, can we be honest? Let's go, let's be honest for a second. Princess Diana, kind of a butterface. Oh. Okay. Yeah, unbelievable body. Tight body. Face, fine. Fine. Here's the thing, really. Princess Diana. No one wants to talk about it. Okay. Awful hair. Oh. An unbelievably bad haircut. Bad haircut. Very of yeah. the time. Exactly. But bad. A in much retrospect. older woman's haircut than she deserved. That's true. But that's kind of, I'm sure she had like two to choose from. Yeah. I, I, I'm curious how much freedom Bad she got hair. to have with uh, the... I don't know what her long, what her with long hair would look like. I bet but, she looked fantastic. I bet, yeah, but I don't know, man. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe she's not a butterface. Maybe she just had a bad haircut. Bad haircut. Because I'm looking, We've thinking about We've all had bad it. haircuts. Yeah. She's a fine... Like, I have one right now. Yeah, man. Well, that's just what your head looks like. Uh, what? Um... <laughs> but yeah, that's my stance. I'm gonna get fucking raked over the coals for that one. Oh, whatever. Uh, I think. Just mean, personally, in my where are they live? Where's Harry and Meghan living now? I don't know. I, I know like, they're in Tyler Perry's house. I just don't know where that house is. Atlanta, probably. That's funny. Or L.A. Prince Harry living in the United States is just funny by itself. He's like the he was like the party boy, right? He I was the one who was in the military and the party boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, because because Prince William mm-hmm. is the one who like. Really looks Eric. like Prince Charles. Yeah, he's bald. Bald as fuck, dude. He's one of the. He's got to be one of the richest people in the world, or like you know, like heir to yeah, yeah. a literal royal fortune, and he can't be like grandma. Please let me get plugs. Let me plug please it please up. Pl- plug me. You're gonna be a bald king. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. If my, if my grandma's the queen of England, I'm getting the craziest fucking get a hair full plugs. Piece. I'm getting hair plugs that go. Up down all the way. I'm getting some other guy's hair. Full hair. I'm gonna look at the fucking wolf man. The wolf boy that used to be in circuses in the fucking 60s. I'm gonna look at fucking Eddie Monster when he turns into the wolf boy. Yeah. That's gonna be me if my grandma's the queen of England. Do you think if your grandma's the queen of England you have like access to talk to her whenever you want? No. No, right? There's no fucking way. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm sure you have more access. Sure. But there's no way the queen of England has a cell phone. No. Do you I think, think Do you think the Queen of England knows what Angry Birds is? Or Fruit Ninja? Oh. I think she probably does know what Angry Birds is. I don't think she knows what Fruit Ninja is. Do you is. think the Queen has ever played 2048? No. <laughs> I don't think she's played it. Or Two Dots. No. I, just, I think I had a feeling they did like a British version of, of, of Angry, Angry Birds. Chaps. Yeah, Angry Chaps. Uh, Angry Birds is a, a, what they call it's, it's, the Housewives shows. Angry Birds is what they... It was, that was Princess Diana's... Code name. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, the angry bird's here. Uh oh, the green one. Oh, they um, fucking hit her with a bomb. Oh god. What? Uh, yeah. It's the greatest joke of all time. Don't it's truly the greatest joke of all time. No one's ever put too many things together <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> all right, fucking. Who cares about the world? Family? Is there anything else? Um. Oh, let me use the bathroom. What the fuck? Dude? I realize I really gotta go to the bathroom. Um, Piss or shit. Piss. Two seconds. So figure out what, what we want to talk about anything. I don't know about any of this. I gotta go. Oh, you just picked something. We talked about Burger King. Oh. I guess. That happened this week. The fucking senator voting no on the $15 minimum wage. Here's the thing. Who cares? Like, yes, it's bad. It's obviously bad. I want people to have a $15 minimum wage. It'd be funny if I was making $7.25 an hour right now. But, of course, politicians don't care about you. They never care. American, I, I tweeted about it, but truly one of the most embarrassing things about being an American is when people who don't live here are like, why don't you just riot in the street? Because your politicians don't care about you, and they want you to die. Why don't you just, like, it's embarrassing that the French are more violent than us, you know? Because the whole thing is Americans are like, oh, you little weak French frogs. We eat, we eat freedom fries and we eat freedom toast and fucking dog shit. You know, those fucking little weird pedophiles. They're pedophiles too, the French. Just mostly because they haven't killed Roman Polanski yet. It's like, get him out of there, man. You, you're like, yeah, please, we love him. We love Roman Polanski because he made 
a good movie 50 years ago. It's like, listen, he made some good movies, sure. He's also like a 95-year-old pedophile. Get him out of there. Just fucking send him... Roman Polanski should be where um, Edward Snowden is. Do you agree? Did you say who cares about the $15 thing? No, I no, no, no. I was saying who cares, like... Well, first of all, I was saying Roman Polanski should be where... Um, I really got off topic. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, jumped with <laughs> uh, Roman Pol- Polanski should be where Edward Snowden is, too. Okay. Like, exiled in Russia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unable to live a free life. Yeah. But the French are cowards that haven't killed Roman Polanski yet. Mm-hmm. But, um... Like, I'm not saying who cares in that I don't want it to pass. I obviously want it to pass. But I'm never shocked... That a oh, yeah, politician has lied to get into office yeah. about what their values are, what they'll do, or I am not shocked when a politician doesn't do something <laughs> good for their constituents. Yeah, they never do. They don't do it. I don't understand. Oh, hold on. Um, people like shocked that Joe Biden has gone back on his campaign promises. Mm-hmm. That's literally a joke from every single TV show and movie. Does even reference politics a little bit mm-hmm. ever? Yeah, politicians do. They lie to you to get into office, and then do what they are going to do. Mm-hmm. So I don't know the cognitive dissonance between the between the past and the present with people is insane. Like the thing where it's like, which of the the only politician who ever? No, nah, not even Trump. Trump was bad, but he was kind of like, I'm going to be a piece of shit, and people were like. We love that. Mm-hmm. You know, the people who voted for him. Like, we love that. Yeah, build the wall. He started to build the wall. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He kind of didn't get shit done, really. But it's the thing where it's like, no politician has ever done what they promised they would do. Mostly because they are stymied by the system Congress itself. Yeah. and, you know, <clears throat> the uh, system is made and not to help. And whatnot. But Joe Biden didn't even try to pretend he was going to do anything. Yeah. They fucking, like, Put up a SpongeBob poster in Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, like, all right, that's <laughs> good like, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like make the fucking guards at the child detention centers in Texas like wear a, a party hat while they beat kids with a wet belt. Yeah, the guards it's now like, have their pronouns on their back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking John Williamson. They, them. Yeah. Uh, bah, ice. Bah. <laughs> of ice. Uh, of ice. Yeah, yeah, that's all. That's all the only thing that's different. And it's like, yeah, obviously, yeah. I think saying. Who cares is not what you're saying. It's no, who, I'm not. I'm not. I know you're saying. I, uh, who Who's cares surprised? at the out? Yeah, yeah. Like, why, why are, are you surprised? shocked? Why are you outraged? Why did you? The one benefit of, of talking and complaining about it. I'm not saying that they're necessarily they shouldn't. Be oh no, I'm not saying that people shouldn't even complain about it. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that it is naive to be shocked mm-hmm. that a politician is has gone against either what they said they would do because people were digging up a tweet from her from like ten years ago tweeting about how, how they need to raise the minimum wage. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, people don't care. She, was, she wasn't in office yet then, was she? Mm-hmm. And then to now she is. Mm-hmm. So she said that to get in the <clears throat> office. She's also from Arizona. Right. Like, the most liberal person from Arizona is at best a libertarian. Right. You know? Like, it doesn't go that far left. Yeah. It's, <clears throat> you know. The sun fries her brain. It's, it's they, get, they have to sit on top of a hot rock like a lizard. Because she was in Washington, D.C., and it's too cold there. It's too cold and there. And her brain wasn't working. Maybe she thought the thumbs down was a thumbs up. Mm. And It is. The, the, the video is the, hilarious. It's so crazy. A little crazy. It's, here's the, the thing. The padding of... But here's the thing, though. It's kind of funny. Yeah. And no one will admit that. I mean, people on the right will, for sure. Yeah. But no one that we... But this I the, think it's not No one that disagrees with her. But that's the thing. That's hard to do because if you admit that there's humor or something, it's almost like admitting it that they're correct. Like, but they're not, not she's not correct. That's not what we're saying. It's funny because it's the wrong thing to do. I can hold two separate ideas in my mind at one time. Absolutely. I think Trump is the funniest president we've ever had. He's the funniest. I also think he truly ruined the country yeah. in an irreparable, irreparable way. Yeah, yeah. I think he has divided the country it's broken. in a way that cannot be fixed. And I think he is by far the funniest president we've ever had. And being funny... Is not integral not good, to the part of being the president. Not at all. It's actually, it I think, be, bad. Yeah. I think it's bad to be the funniest president. <laughs> but I do think you can't lie and say he's not the funniest president. Right. Exactly. Exactly. There's a difference. It's like, Dude. someone's like, hey, do you, have a, do you like your doctor? Like, that doctor's hilarious. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, you have, do, you, do you have a good yeah. dentist? Oh, uh, the bur- joke's dude, on this Roddy fucking guy. kills me. <clears throat> he should do stand up. Your gums are bleeding right now. Yeah, so what? Look at this. Um, no, I mean, do you have any. 
Because like, I, I want to talk about the last thing, but that kind of leads. That kind of we can work okay. off of that. Um, this has almost nothing to do with it, other than I was. So this is how my brain went. Donald Trump is funny. He called Rosie O'Donnell fat. Did you see the clip that people posted, that somebody posted of Rosie O'Donnell talk, doing stand-up, talking about Woody Allen? No. It's really funny, but I was also like, oh, she was almost doing like a, um, like, I couldn't remember really what Rosie O'Donnell stand-up was like. Yeah, I, mean, I remember, like, you know, my every woman in my family loved her TV show, uh-huh. but her TV show was like, I throw koosh balls in the, oh, yeah. in the crowd, it's fun. You, like, you it was know, Ellen, kind of, pre-Ellen. Yeah, kind of proto-Ellen, proto-Rachel Ray, kind mm-hmm. of that thing, because she did a lot of cooking on there, when they had, had people come on and do cooking. But her, she was doing like almost like a George Carlin esque thing, like she was cursing and she had like a backwards Kangol hat on, and she was like talking about how Woody Allen is like a fucking you know pedophile, and it was like I was like, oh this is really good, like it was a really fucking good. It was one of those ones where I'm like, okay, you're kind of ranting a little bit. Mm-hmm. It was also the early nineties, <clears> right? Which like, is fine. You know, like Carlin Hicks esque, you really, know, kind really, of. Yeah, but, like, in a way that is, like, you know, I don't really care for uh, Bill Hicks or his children, you know, the disciples of Bill Hicks, mm-hmm. not, like, his actual, you don't think he had any actual children, but, like, I was, like, oh, this is really fucking funny and good, and I was, like, oh, respect, like, wow. like I had not, not that I didn't, no, 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 yeah, it's not I that. knew it was, like, everyone was, like, oh, Rosie was, like, a good stand-up, but I just had never really, I don't know what I thought her stand-up was like, probably closer to Ellen. Yeah. I probably thought it was closer to that. That's my assumption is I don't can't remember to Ellen. But no, she's wearing like a leather jacket and like a backwards Kangol and she looks like a fucking cab driver. So <laughs> but funny. like in a cool way. And good for her. Yeah. Good bit. It was it was a good bit. So anyway, you wanna try this? Let's try this. Hey, All right. hey welcome to the energy drink corner. Hey, bow, 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 bow. Again, we're drinking Alani. We're almost done with the, the no, sweet we're care not. package. We have two more still. <clears throat> that's more than we had before. After this, that's true. Um, this week, I, I pulled it already. Whatever. There's no ever no. There's no poem ever on. Well, like step it up with your poems. No, you know they're good. Same as always. Gluten free, vegan, biotin, B six and B twelve. Alani New Energy. But this week it's mimosa flavored. Which, it's a fun spring beverage to drink. Mimosas are champagne orange juice. I don't think I've ever had one in my life. I've had one, I believe. How'd you feel about it? Eh. No, I definitely had one. I had a girl... The girlfriend I had before I moved to New York, she lived in New York and then moved back to Florida. Interesting. And she was, like, one of those, like... Uh, those people who, like, love, like, drag stuff and loves, like... Yeah, uh, drag. I go to drag brunch. Yeah, and she literally took me to a drag brunch. Yeah. And I was just, like, 20 and just, like... Not uncomfortable, just, like, I was confused by it. Is there it. a TV show where somebody goes to a drag brunch with their parents on accident? I don't know. It's shrill or something. I don't know. It's funny, though. Anyway. Um, went to a drag brunch. Yeah, and I had a mimosa. I'm like, oh, yeah. all right. This is fine. This yeah. Is not... But well, I'm not, curious it's... what this is going to taste like because not half of what the ingredients are. And also, when you go at like a drag brunch place, the mimosas you're getting are not high-quality orange juice or high-quality no. champagne. You're getting, but... you're getting Tropicana and sparkling white wine. And you're getting the loudest music you've ever yeah. heard in a restaurant. Dude, speaking of <clears throat> low, low quality ingredients, I'm still mad. Two weeks ago, I had a bad smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still mad about it because they the base of the smoothie was Mott's apple juice. Awful choice. The craziest thing. Because they're like, okay, I'm making you an acai smoothie. It's like $9. They only had the biggest size available, mm-hmm. obviously. And they were like... you just put. I just saw them pouring a plastic bottle of Mott's apple juice into the blender. And I was like... What an interesting choice. It was choice. disgusting. It, guess what it tasted like? What? Mott's apple juice. Of course. That's all it tasted like. It I didn't would... taste like acai. It didn't taste like banana. It didn't taste like blueberry. just tasted like Mott's apple juice. I could see someone giving a splash. I can't. A splash. Mott's apple juice is like dill or like, uh. or like <laughs> truffle. Yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. like a little bit, the whole thing tastes like it. Yeah. You know? Anyway. Mimosa. Mimosa flavor from Alani Energy. Alani we like Alani. I also, I realized it stands for Alani Nutrition. Nutrition. Alani Nutrition. Alani is the name of the first princess of uh, Brazil's mm. second-hand brother that killed a man in the fire. Okay, well, let's see. Not bad. No, not bad. So the worst of 
the Alani ones we've had, but yeah. still, still drinkable. Not bad. Still very drinkable. It's a little bit. It kind of just tastes orange. It tastes remember. orange, but it has a little bit of that chalky, like um, like to me, like Flintstones vitamin E kind of. Yeah, a, a little yeah, bit, yeah. a little bit, not terribly, but enough. Yeah, someone yeah, gave it to me blind and was like, Diego, what do you think this tastes like? I'm going to say... Flintstones vitamins? Flintstones, orange Flintstones vitamin? Definitely yeah. orange. Definitely the orange one. Definitely the orange Flintstones vitamin. I wouldn't say mimosa because there's no alcohol in it. Yeah, I don't really get that kick of I think sparkle. It's a... I get like the carbonation that's in the drink. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I think it's... it's it's. I think it's... Bad all... idea to name your beverage as not alcoholic after an alcoholic beverage. Uh, no, I think it actually would make people want to drink it. I don't know if it would make me want to people keep drinking it, mm. but I think it's a thing where you're like, oh, mimosa, I love mimosas, and I want an energy drink. Okay. This is an energy, this is an energy drink for hot girls. It's a hot girl. That, that's what their branding is. It's a hot girl. Have you looked drink. at their social media stuff? Uh, a little bit. They, have, they do really well. Yeah? Yeah, they I, do really I, well. I, I just don't know what the vibe is. Pull it up. You can see it. Hmm. Um, phones are the way over there. <laughs> it's um. Their phones. Oh, it's a really good, like, um... Their photo shoots, they do a really good job of, like, having colorful backgrounds with, like... The, yeah. Like, it's, it's like, the best that I've seen in terms of energy drink, probably. Like, it's very, like... Aesthetic. Millennial. Like millennial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, solid, bright colors. Yeah, okay. Um, I want to give sense. this, uh... Three and a half, maybe. 3.25. I'm not going to go that high. I'm going to go three. I'm going to go 3.25. Because I could, like... You could crush this. I could crush this, you could especially crush the this. kind of temperature we're having today. That's the thing. It's like you could crush it. If this was a different brand's energy drink, I think we would like it more. Mm -hmm. But it's at the bar was set was so high. Of this brand. That's a really brand. good point. That's a really good so point. I think 3.25 is fair. I'm going to go three. All right. I think they're both fair, actually. Okay. Uh, more. Yeah, come on. Kind of does give me a stomachache a little bit because I haven't eaten that much today. You got to eat things, man. I know. I just, I woke up. I actually woke up at a regular time. I had some, uh... Yogurt and granola with little blueberries in it. Beautiful. It was great. But that's the thing. Where sometimes it's like there has to be a um, when you have like yogurt and granola, you're like, all right, do I let this sit for a little bit to let the granola soften up? Oh. But do you let it sit for too long and then the granola gets too soft? Mm. And then it's like, what's the point of having the granola? Right. You need to find. You need the fine line of well, that's yeah. really what today. You like. Today I did not let it sit, and I just ate it because I was like, gosh, shit, I gotta like. We gotta do things today. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it's still delicious. It's still delicious. That's a delicious breakfast. I don't, right I don't like. I don't really like granola. No. No. But what if you let it soften up in some yogurt? I'd rather just eat cereal. It's different. <laughs> I I agree. You know it's what? Quite different. I agree. It is different. Thank you. Um, cereal is delicious. We haven't. <laughs> <laughs> cereal tastes good and it's fun to eat. Cereal's great. Damn, and dude, that cereal I have. I have some kashi. Oh, yeah. Tahitian vanilla shredded wheat. Ooh. And listen, it sounds like it sucks. It sounds like it's going to suck. Yeah. Major ass. Major. But guess what? Slaps. It's fucking awesome. Mm hmm It tastes like, because Frosted Mini Wheats, one of my favorite cereals of all time. Notoriously not vegan. Not vegan. It has it has the Pop-Tarts problem, uh -huh. where the frosting has gelatin in it. Exactly. It just fucking doesn't make any sense. I guess it does, because it doesn't really feel like frosting. No, no. And it's, it's crunchy. It's hard. And it's hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But this Tahitian vanilla... With actual frosting, like cake frosting on cereal, would be phenomenal. <laughs> That'd be really fucking good. What if you melted it's all cake frosting? What if you melted cake frosting and used that as milk? Oh my god. <laughs> you melted a little you bit and you hit, hit it with some water. Rush to get diabetes? Yeah. Were you ever... Were you, would you ever just, like, eat frosting out of, like, the can? Eat, I mean, we, we very, very rarely ever had frosting in the house. Like, yeah. I think I think twice. I remember like just walking over to the kitchen, opening it, and putting my fucking finger in it, and yeah. just like, ugh. I think I yeah maybe there's a but sugar. so so we would have like frosting in the cabinet because mm -hmm. you know it's like shelf stable. Yeah, it's shelf stable. But it was so it'd be sealed, so I couldn't just like open it because uh, I was like, oh, that's I mean, for something. Yeah. You know, just in case mom has to make an emergency cake. Emergency <laughs> cake for mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like oh shit, there's a bake sale tomorrow or something. We, yeah, we never, ever, ever had any kind of like sweets like that. Yeah. And it's all I wanted in the whole world. I remember one time my mom had Slim Fast, oh and I'm my like, God. I was eating it by the handful, like by the spoonful, because it's like, oh, it's chocolate. Like it's, I just, need, yeah. I just want something. That's but it was chocolate. just like the drink. It's just but the it's powder, like the protein oh, powder. The powder. Yeah, it's a protein powder. Oh, okay. It's a meal replacer. That's yeah, but I just I just always think of the can. When I think oh, of Slim Fast, yeah, I think yeah. of the can. No, this was the powder. Um, that's when my think. love of protein powder started. I'm trying to think. There was like a um, there was like a snack wells 
Wasn't that like a low yeah, fat yeah, yeah. cookie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We had those in the house a lot, and I'd fucking crush them. But my parents would get us junk food all the time. Like, yeah, I never wish, man. But it was weird. Like my parents had like weird parameters on oh yeah on junk told. food. Like we couldn't have Lucky Charms and we couldn't have Cookie Crisp. It's so funny. It was so weird. My mom was like, "No Cookie Crisp," but I was like, "What about Peanut Butter Captain Crunch?" She's like, "Absolutely, absolutely." Any day of the week, you oh, can have Peanut Butter Captain Crunch. I think every day favorite. for breakfast. I think Peanut it's Butter so Captain Crunch is my good. number one. It's so goddamn good. And I remember I had to really convince her to get um, the Reese's Puff oh, cereal when it came candy. out. Yeah, but I was like, but it's basically peanut butter Captain Crunch. Man, I'm not surprised that. you got her. You, you, and you let me have that. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I might be making this whole story up. <laughs> <laughs> I might be I lying. Know, I but I feel like I had to be like, come on. I, had yeah. to, I think I had to do a little begging. A little begging in the cereal aisle? Yeah. But, but I, it was weird because we would like get chips and there would always be like little Debbie-esque snack cakes in the house because those were always like going in your lunchbox. Yeah. But they're also just in the house. They're in the house which is but it was so bigger lunchbox. Yeah. The, my house is a giant lunchbox that I live in. <laughs> but it was always so funny when I was like I'm going to get caught eating these. I'm like there's a good so I would like we would have like a big thing of Oreos in the house mm-hmm. and you know it would be like you can have some Oreos after dinner and then I would walk around I would eat Oreos before dinner and then get caught every time because I would just have crumbs all over my face. Like, always in the corner of my mouth, I would just have Oreo crumbs. <laughs> like, just wipe your fucking face and you won't get caught. It'd be a perfect crime. It's a perfect crime. No one's counting the Oreos. No, no. That'd the perfect. Be... This was the perfect crime I would do as a little fat kid. <laughs> my, I would go grocery shopping with my mom. Uh-huh. And back in the nineties, you could just be a child in the store. Oh yeah, kind you of wandered. Wandered. I would. So what I would do usually is I would go and I kind of bang on the lobster tank for a while. I'd be like, hey. What's up, motherfuckers? So I kind of bang yeah, on yeah. the lobster tank, and then I would go to the, and there was a magazine rack in, by the deli, mm-hmm. like by the deli counter, and I would just sit cross-legged on the floor and read magazines, and then my mom would be like, Mike, we gotta go, and I'm like, okay, and just kind of like put them back, but what I would do sometimes is they had like, um, I'm trying to think, what's the worst chip brand? Worst chip brand? Ooh. Hers. Yeah, H E R R S. Yeah, that's some like uh, yeah. Because really they those. made they make those awful Jack's cheese doodles. Yes. So what I would do is I would take a they had little like you know little twenty five cent bags or whatever, like on a on a mm-hmm. in like a thing in front of the a display case. Yeah, like it just in like a weird little metal rack, you know, over by the checkout. And what I would do is I would go read Mad. I'd be sitting there reading Mad Magazine for a while or Guitar World or whatever I was mm-hmm. fucking reading. And then I would go, and what I would do is I would go and get a bag of either Jack's cheese doodles, or hers rippled like they had like a r- rippled you know sour cream and onion chip, mm-hmm. or just whatever kind of thing I wanted. And I would always I don't know why I'd always do this. I would walk around the store and I'd eat them by myself so my mom didn't see me. And then I would take the empty bag and I would just stick them behind the napkins. Yeah. I don't know why I was like this is the best place to do it. Yeah. Just stick them behind the napkins. I never once got caught. Yeah. Truly a perfect crime, and I got a free bag of chips, mm-hmm. and my mom didn't know, and then maybe I even got another bag of chips, because I'd be like, Mama, can I get a bag of chips? Phenomenal but, crime. Yeah, and just, I just so I just get some free cheese doodles. <clears throat> you're like Ocean, you're like Danny Ocean. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> is that Brad Pitt? No, that's... Uh, no, I'm Brad Pitt. Because like, like, yeah, eating. you're always eating, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm always eating with my crimes. But yeah, that was, that was, that wasn't the height of my stealing. Not even a little. That was the start of my stealing. Mm-hmm. But I also didn't think it was... I See, the weird thing is I didn't think it was wrong to eat the chips. I thought it was wrong if my mom found out. Yeah. Like, I would get in trouble if my mom found out. I wouldn't get in trouble... Yeah, I understand that. ...at the store. Yeah. Like, store is to eat some of the food. That's the, what the stores are for. Somebody will pay for this eventually. I remember... Do you. Yeah. You will stop and shop. Or stop and shop. Whatever you were before it. Finest. Ooh. Or Edwards. I don't know. That doesn't was, ring a bell Yeah, at all. so it was Edwards... Became, it was like a local chain, I think, like a northeast chain, then became finest, and then I think that got bought out by the Stop and Shop conglomerate, and then they became uh, Stop and Shops. Wow. That is the story of the supermarket in the Islandia shopping center. There you go. Islandia if was a, a village that was just like, we're not... Central Islip. No, we're different. <laughs> no, we're a different town. We're a different town. Treat us differently. We're differently. Now, now there's a Walmart there. Woo! Yeah. Death of the local and now country. there's a, actually there's a casino there now too. That's strange. On the um, right on the highway. 
Yeah. You want to go? Sure. We should go. We should take a little trip out to the casino right next to my dad's house. Dude, that's two and one. That's two and one. Kiss your dad on the lips. Because my dad, we kiss my dad on the lips. We kiss my dad on the lips in Manhattan where it works. That's true. But there's no casino in Manhattan. There's no casino in Manhattan. There is one in Queens. That's not Manhattan, but yeah. You think there'd be a little casino in Manhattan? You think I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of illegal ones. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of illegal little little rooms. Absolutely. I got asked once to be a low bodyguard for one of those. Like a poker game? Like an illegal poker game. D- did you do it? No. I, I was like, oh, let me think about it. And literally the week I waited to think about it, there was a someone got shot in there. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Which I don't know I should be saying out loud, but Whatever. I didn't say you didn't name. Say, you didn't say exactly. Just say, just say exactly where it is. Um, it, it was in Williamsburg. <laughs> was it really? <laughs> yeah, it was in South Williamsburg. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> South Williamsburg. <laughs> all right um, um so so we, we, uh, we haven't watched any movies this week together i don't think i've watched any separately either yeah you watch any movies separately no god I gotta it's been a weird week no i watched a bunch separately oh. i saw sherman's march i'd never seen that before um i think that's really the only movie i watched because we there was a claire O'Kane. Did oh like yeah! A, um, she curated a a a day of movies for this uh, Twitch channel called Movie Past for her birthday. So I watched Sherman's March, which was a documentary I never seen before. Um, unbelievably good, right to the top of my list. Uh, and then we watched. <laughs> I skipped. There was like an anime movie, and I like had shit to do, so I skipped that. And then we watched it, the skate video enjoys bag of suck, one of the greatest skate videos of all time. Mm-hmm. And then we watched the Comedians of Comedy movie. Fantastic. Unbelievable movie. Unbelievably good. Truly one of the funniest things ever. And then I had Sarah download every Comedians of Comedy thing. We watched a couple episodes of the TV show last night. I forgot night. that there was a TV show TV for the as, movie. TV show's not as good. It's not as good. But it's still fun to watch. still very fun to watch. Zach Galifianakis, I think God. there was a run where he was the funniest person on the planet. Yeah. Like no one was funnier except maybe like Earthquake. Maybe, <laughs> or Bruce yeah, Bruce. Bruce Bruce probably. Something yeah. like that. But, like, truly no one funnier than Zach Galifianakis up until, like, 2000 and... From, like, 2004 Five, yeah, yeah. to, like, 2007? I wasn't even go eight. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the funniest person on the planet. When did the first Hangover come out? Ooh, I I'll guess give him that. I'll nine? Give him that. Yeah, I think up until then. Up until then, then it really Maybe. Really up changed. until the filming of that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because I remember... Live at the Purple Onion was the first... It's cr- we watched that after... We watched the Comedians of Comedy thing. Mm-hmm. It's so good. It's so influential, so funny. Dude, my, so my, my girlfriend at the time, Jenna, gave me a DVD copy of it. That must have been 2007, 2006 when she gave it to me. Because, yeah, it came I out. just got out of high school. Because it came out 2004? No, 2005, 2005 I think. Because I think Comedians of Comedy was 2004. I still had it. Yeah. You can't get rid of that. No. No fucking way. Yeah, dude. There's some, watching that stuff... It was crazy how much it was like, oh, everyone <clears throat> was doing, still doing Zach Galifianakis and Maria Bamford. Yeah. Like, so much. People aren't doing Patton as much. They used to, They man. used to a lot. I mean, I definitely used to. Then his wife died and stopped. Yeah, but, <laughs> but I think that's the thing where it's like, old Patton and new Patton are two different Patton. Very different. Because like, he's, <clears throat> he's, he's not fucking... He's not fucking angry anymore, <clears throat> you know? Yeah. He's not yeah. fucking... Whatever. That old shit... I mean, his, his new shit is still good. It's just different. It's really good. It's just different. That... that no KFC bowl. I'll tell Young, you that. kind of angry. The magician bit, dude. Like it spoke to me in a way that it felt like nothing had before. Yeah, this yeah. comedy. Yeah, it, it's it, it's it's it's. I think even I underrate how influential it was to me mm. to start doing comedy, and in the first couple years of me doing comedy, for sure. Mm-hmm. I was always trying to do Patton, but I couldn't because. We're very different people, I think. Right. And I just couldn't do it. Because literally everything is like a reference on top of a reference to a thing. And that's just not really how <gasps> I do comedy. But, dude, crazy how much those first couple albums, like, made me start doing comedy. Mm-hmm. Crazy. I uh, I remember where I was going, or who I was with even, but I remember being on a road trip and like we listened to the first couple of pan al- al- albums... And it's such an enjoyable road trip album. Dude, that is the Werewolves and Lollipops. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times Nick and I listen to that in his car. (laughs) 
like so sitting in his fucking Saturn. God, <laughs> listening. It's supposed to be made out of plastic. Yeah, listening to a sitting in his Saturn or his fucking his old like he had, what like, was his that called? Old Mitsubishi. Yeah. After that, that we would sit and just listen to this shit. A fucking you know cassette adapter plugged into an iPod. Yeah. Just fucking listening to all this shit. I had so many. I had a bunch of bootleg, like not bootleg, but just like live patent sets that weren't albums. Mm-hmm. And dude, those fucking that one joke that we on the comedy comedy show, the one about getting engaged, getting oh an engagement sword. Oh my god, man! I forgot about that fucking I, joke. I, I never I, heard. I, of it. I don't know if I had heard, I'd heard it other than I because I the first the TV time I saw. Show, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I never like, heard it as a comedian. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Watching that was like, oh Make my god! Make me a fucking sword, god. You still dating her? We yeah, fucking check, 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 check out the fucking sword. Check out the fucking sword, buddy. You got a dragon on the hand. Like, yeah, me? dude. That's an um. That is. That's one of those jokes where I'm like, well, I can't write that joke. I wouldn't. No, but yeah, man, it's like, fucking beautiful. Yeah. yeah, you're like that's so funny. The thing about jokes where you see jokes, and you're like, well, I can't do that now. Mm-hmm. But not even in a way where you're angry. But there are some where there's a Brian Posehn joke about. You know, the, the kind of, not like super famous one, but the one I think of the most when I think about Brian Posehn is the one about the dog licking his wife's pussy while she's on the toilet. Mm-hmm. And just being like, oh, that has happened to me. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, I forgot that Brian Posehn had that joke. And that's one of those ones that's like, should I talk about this? Should I not talk about this? And I was just like, you know, dog didn't lick my dick on the toilet. It's like a woman's pussy when mm-hmm. I was there. Um, but I was like, well, it doesn't matter. It's the Brian Posehn joke. Brian Posehn joke. So why would I do it anyway? But yeah, comedians of comedy, yeah, dude. I forgot. Like that is, and I I was I said it while we were watching the stream. But I was like, oh, the comedians of comedy movie is a skate video for comedians. Yeah, it literally is. That's that. what it is. And I was like, oh, this is. That's why I like, dude. Fucking goddamn. I could go off on this for a year. The the Zach Galifianakis just showing up while they're standing in the alley, so and he ha- he's wearing a visor and has another one clipped <laughs> to his belt. Is one of the fun- like he's not wearing that to be no like, ironic or funny. Yeah, he's wearing. Well, I don't know if he's wearing. You know, it's like a thing where it's like, oh, maybe it'll be. I mean, I'll see these guys yeah, later. Yeah. But it's like just wearing. That's like the funniest outfit. He's wearing like jeans and a blazer and <laughs> a visor and another visor clipped to his belt. Yeah, the, the, the camera's on the floor, a la the last fucking shot in the Blair Witch Project, and you just see yeah. Zach come into frame and turn. And then notice it. Oh, hey! <laughs> it's fucking perfect. Anyway, we talk about... We watched the UFC fights on Saturday. Yeah, so we watched the, watch the UFC fights. We watched UFC, two, I think, 259. It's An unbelievably long card. 15 fights. It started at 5. 5.30, I believe. And then ended one after 1 a.m. After 1 a.m. We, we started watching it. We started watching it, I think well, it's... I, I think, think it started watching you it started watching it at 6. 6, and I was yeah. in my room for a while. Because um, I was like, I can't. No, you shouldn't. Yeah, no yeah, one yeah. Should. Dude, it's crazy how it's like... Okay, so the fight started at... The the early prelims started at 5.30. It's like, you can watch all of the Irishmen, mm-hmm. and it still won't be the main card. Yeah. For a while. You can watch, you can watch fucking Godfather 1 and 2, and I then watched, it's time for the fucking I watched main three card. fights, and then they had a countdown timer come up on the screen, they're like... Three and a half hours until the main card. You're like motherfucker, what the fuck, dude. Um, but yeah, it was a, de- a decent card. Um, Israel Asanya lost to Jan Blahovic. Yeah, that was a little um, disappointing. Disappointing. I just wanted him to win because I, I like him so much. I like him. He's great. Um, but also, you're like, yeah, man, you want to have a weight class. It's like yeah. it's it's it's, it's <clears throat> disappointing, but it's not devastating. Yeah, or like shocking. He's also still the champion. I just hate when anyone, like, when a fighter I like loses their... Undefeated record. Undefeated record. Yeah, yeah. It's a bummer. Uh, but it's interesting to see what, what he does next in the 205 division. Um, or 185, pardon me. Yeah. So the car was, you know, long and just some really good fights. Really but I think the most newsworthy thing to talk about is... I'm signed to the UFC. Michael Bruce is signed to the UFC. He's going to be in the uh, women's bantamweight division. I'm going to... I have to get down to 135. Uh-huh. Uh, Amanda Nunez... This is going to be Michael Bruce's next opponent. Amanda Nunez? Uh-huh. Watch your mouth, dude. Watch I'm coming mouth. for you. <laughs> no, I, thought I wasn't going to say anything. Too bad. I know. I was just Listen, gonna... I'm coming for you. And you're going to beat the shit out of me. <laughs> and then you're going to introduce me to your new daughter. You, uh, here's the thing. She's going to be 135. I get to be 205. Mm, still wouldn't make a difference. And she would absolutely destroy me in, I don't know, 10 seconds, maybe? Yeah. No, I think I'd give her... I think I'd get 30 seconds. 
Because I would evade for 25. I don't think and I could. <laughs> I think I'd be like, ah, ah. I'd fucking cover up. I'd cover up for a while. I think I could make it 30 seconds. But then as soon as she connects once, uh-huh. the fight is over. <laughs> so I think, you know, I, so I think here's the thing. I think I give the fight 30, 30 seconds total. Okay. So it's a thing where I evade for 20 seconds, and then she gets me, and she hits me, and then they have to figure out if I'm a, unconscious uh-huh. or not. <laughs> so then all of that takes 30 seconds. Yeah. <clears throat> so I would like Herb Dean to... Make sure I'm unconscious. Yeah, like he just touches your penis a bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like those guys in Africa or something. No, I yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I want the guy with the. Oh, oh, uh, the Mike Beltran. Yeah, I want either Mike Beltran or Herb Dean or or uh, Big Dan. Big Dan Mergalati. Um. So so Dominic Cruz won his fight, and after the fight, he was doing the uh, post fight interview, and they're asking him who he wants to fight next, and he brought up an interesting uh, point, because. Um, and I'm a victim of this as well. I thought they were friends. There's a guy in the fight world who's in his uh, Hans Mullenkamp camp, or Mullen, Mullenkamp, yeah. who is, uh, I believe, the owner of Triumph, which makes like smart, like boxing gloves and shin guards and stuff like that, and also works for Monster Energy Drink. He's the person who decides like who's sponsored and how he's much. He's kind of like the fighter liaison. Almost. Literally that. And, you know, he's been in it for a long time. I've always seen him posting videos of him sparring with guys and like training with very famous fighters and like he does a thing with like DC and a couple other guys where like if they're out in public and someone's holding something like a can of drink or a food he'll kick it out of their hand yeah and it's like a funny what seems like a funny inside joke between friends yeah what seems like Dom Dominic Cruz has been sponsored by Monster for a long time it's wild that he's sponsored by them I mean, yeah like this. brought up that this guy is kind of holding fighters hostages in terms of like they have to like uh, comment and like his personal photos and like pump him up, not monster. Yeah, his him. personal accounts up and post pictures with him and go like do sparring with him and like buddy him. Like because if look they like don't, buddies. they'll lose their monster sponsorship. Exactly. Because and that's what floats them between fights. Exactly. Yeah. And I thought I thought like when we watched it together. I'm like, oh, I think he's joking because I thought they were friends. Yeah, because also Dominic seems... Cruz kind of it was you know post fight. And he is one of the more um, charismatic fighters. Yeah. But it seemed like he was doing a weird, like, deadpan bit. Wrestler kind of a bit. Today. Yeah, like, he was, he was like, you know, cutting a promo on this guy. Exactly. And then um, I looked at some other stuff online, and uh, Ali, one of the ma- main UFC managers of, of a lot of fighters, That's was like... That's the guy that sucks. The guy who sucks. Uh, yeah. He posted things like, this is true, people need to talk about this. This guy fucking sucks. He's oh, like wow. trying and to. And that guy sucks. And that guy sucks. The guy, the guy who sucks says this guy sucks. Yeah. So that's pretty bad. And he's like, there's, he's like basically holding fighters hostage. He's trying to like a slave man, which I don't think it does an exaggeration. A bit much. A bit much. But, but still being like, hey, if you don't do this, you won't get any money. Yeah. Like. And that's not their job. Their job is not to hype you up. You are not their monster. job is work to for fight monster. and to wear monster stuff. Logos. That's it. Yeah. And so someone, I, I saw literally when you were getting changed. Someone posted a video about one of Izzy. Most, one of the most boring videos I've ever seen in my life. Well, his voice is boring. That's the video is good. Yeah. Um, about uh, Israel Asanya, like the last couple times he's had been at press conferences, and they have monster drinks there. He'll grab it and take it off. He'll put it off the is stage. Is he not sponsored by them? No. Okay. Not individually. Not anymore. Not not. Yeah, like they sponsor UFC events. Yeah. But, but he, because there's people who are sponsored by Monster exactly. also. You have seen generals sponsored by Monster, but also individual fighters also get sponsored. Yeah. So he's been taking the cans off of because, the, cause the stage. He's not making any money for having their logo there. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and bringing light to the fact. And then he talks about it. He's like, yeah, this guy sucks. He like wants to get free clout off of us. And he's taking advantage of his position. Yeah. And again, Monster is, seems to be really cool with the fighters. It seems to be a really good company for the UFC and a good partnership. But this one specific guy, again, someone who I assumed was buddies with all these people because he posts stuff and you make assumptions off social yeah, media. Yeah, of course. Um, so it's super interesting. So Dom, Dominic Cruz, challenged him to a fight for charity. And Dominic Cruz fights at 135. This hands guy is probably 240. He's huge. Jesus Christ. Um, so I'm very interested what happens with this. I want to see if DC's going to say anything because DC posts the most stuff. With them that yeah, I've seen. Yeah, DC, like, do you think him and DC are actually friends? Or I do don't you think know. DC I think DC's enough of a company man that he can... Yeah, that's one of my biggest, um... That's one of my only, like... Judgments? Qualms with DC. Yeah. Seems like a really great guy. He's, like, a great family man. Mm-hmm. Great fighter, great commentator. 
you know, like fucking, you know, one of the greatest wrestlers yeah, yeah. of all time, like Olympic medalist, mm-hmm. like crazy, but just he's just fucking loves to tow the company line. Yeah, um, just loves to fucking, you know. And there's a there's a point where it's like, I, I mean, trust you're, you. Too much. Yeah, you're successful enough, and you have given enough people goodwill. That it's like, could be detrimental to people to have you tow the company line this much. Mm-hmm. But if he does it, he's set for life. Yeah, so. he's gonna be the next day. He's gonna be Dana White's. He's gonna have Dana White's position. Oh, absolutely. At some time, uh, at some point. So but I understand you, so, that fucking. So I think this is a this is an interesting parallel between similar people. Dana White is Vince McMahon Mm -hmm. in that he owns the thing, you know, or is like, you know, in charge of the thing. That's the difference, though. Dana White doesn't own the UFC, but he is the CEO Mm -hmm. and the public face of the company. Yeah. And Vince McMahon owns the WWE and is the public face of the company, but neither of them really did the thing. Right. But so the next in line, supposedly, you know, would be DC. Mm Mm-hmm. And the next in line to take over Vince McMahon is probably Triple H. Mm-hmm. You know, he's married to Vince's Stephanie. daughter. He is the COO. Like, he's there. And once Vince steps down, and he's, like, you know, been in charge of NXT for a long time and really made, like, big changes in in what it is compared to what WWE is. But it's like, so there has to be a huge difference between the person in charge being a person who's done the thing and not. Yeah, I think so. Like, you know what it's like to be the fucking bottom of the wrong guy. Yeah. And have to work your way up and to become a star. And I think there's a, lot of, yeah, there's a lot of value there as a, as a president. Yeah, but it's also like a thing where it's like, have you, are you so far removed and so wealthy now that doesn't matter? Right. It's a tough call. You know, it's tough. It's tough to be able to keep that knowledge and remembrance of that feeling at the bottom and you yeah. like to keep it in their top because then at the top you also learn things you didn't know exactly you understand the food chain a little better and you understand why you might feel like you might have been shortchanged here and there but yeah but also you're like you also know now that's like well you have to do this to keep profits up and yes because like a certain you need a certain amount yeah all that shit yeah. um so i'm very interested to see what fighters come out and talk about this guy because it is something that's quite interesting within the realms of MMA that only pops its head up once in a while um, because, again, there's a lot of fighters that, you know, post pictures of them. And I understand. Yeah. I'm not, no judgment to anyone who, like, you know, whatever. Yeah, sure. I'll get the fucking take a bag. Yeah, I get it. I totally get it. You gotta, protect, you gotta no, protect the bag. Absolutely no judgment to any fighter who doesn't want to talk about it or, you know, is like, no, that guy actually is my friend. You know, like, I don't yeah. care. Oh, no, no, no. I know judgment. I you do are, care. but you're interested to see who I'm just does interested. And doesn't. Yeah. I'm interested because Izzy's being very blatant. It's because he has nothing to lose. Yeah. So he doesn't have to worry about it. He's above it now. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Not he's that he has nothing to Puma, lose, you know? but yeah, he's like... They know, can't hurt him now. They can't hurt him because they're not going to pull their sponsorship because one person is um, critical of them. Yeah. I wonder if Mons is going to do anything about it because it's, like, it's a bad look. It's for a bad look for them. Yeah. It's a bad look for their brand. I think I could do a better job. I think Mons should hire me to do this. That'd be great. I think I could do a better job making energy drinks than Monster does. Yeah, I think you could. Be. I think I can make a bathtub energy drink. Bathtub energy drink. Micah Brucey's bathtub energy drink coming drink, soon. Huh? Uh, open drink up. It, drink it and die. Drink it and die, bitch. Welcome to hell. Welcome Micah Brucey's <laughs> bathtub energy drink. Welcome to hell. What's the flavor? None of your business. Shut, shut the fuck up. Atomic, shut the fuck up. How about yeah? Wild, keep your mouth closed. Yeah. After Blind you drink rage. <laughs> That's the main flavor. Yeah. Too fast, too furious. It's already taken. We, fuck you. Well, who cares? Who gives they did it with numbers. I'll me. do it with letters. letters. <laughs> All right. That's a great episode. We love huh? you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> there you find out the whole energy drink.